So I've cut and set the sides on both port and starboard. I'm going to trim that tip back so there's only two and a half foot, th maybe three foot sticking out for a rain hood. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'll start tacking. This is looking from the stern. That is the aft cabin wall. That one also. So here will be the steering station, the aft steering station built into that a little bit. Tackle workstation over there. You might not be able to see it, but I have the window openings marked. So I got the aft port wall in. Behind there would be where the head is going to be. The toilet shower area. And then what you see there is the wood frames to hold my arched top. And then the aluminum pieces that will be welded to the bottom of the hood of the cabin. And then I have the bent pieces which are down there that I rolled over at Kevin's shop. There are three inches of gain to the center. And they'll go side to side. They'll go this way every two foot. So it'll be like a lattice because these run every 12 inches. And then these are our aluminum angle. <clears throat> they'll be insulated inside. And then I'll rivet plywood with uh, stainless rivets. I'm going to put quarter inch plywood to the bottom of that, and then I'll put Naga hide to finish it. So these are just there to temporarily hold everything. I'll start the process tomorrow. Got everything ready, lined out. So I've got two of the front sheets, they're five foot wide. You can see there's the, uh, the very front arch, then coming back there's a seam in there, and then there's, the sheet comes back right in front of that board there. So I've got to stop there and I'm going to weld out the seam that's underneath here. I got to put some bars in there to keep it from warping. I'll go on top and weld it out with the pulse MIG. I'll stitch this in here. I'll stitch this about one inch stitches every two inches and then weld the top out all the way. But I'll put the cap on the seam here. We're gonna run that molded cap right on top of it from the outside. That'll hide that seam, you won't even see it. But I got to start my bathroom before I come back any further. 
so that I can get these sheets in and placed all the way down and get the wall door area. That way I don't have to fight that when I get the ceiling on. Then I can just lay the tin, the metal aluminum right on it. So this is looking from upstairs down on top. So that's the first two sheets, sheet number one, sheet number two. This gets trimmed down as we figure out what our, what the uh, front brow is gonna look like. And then it comes down, right? It comes down, tapers and swoops down and finishes off. But I gotta finish off my bathroom area first so I can get those sheets stood up and then the lid will just lay right on top of it. It'll make it easier. So I've been working on the uh, bathroom, the head. This is the shower column and controls so that there will be where the valve is and that there is where the water will come out for the shower. So this is the aft wall. I just had to put stiffeners in so it wouldn't all creep and crawl, buckle up while you're welding it. That eighth inch aluminum likes to dance when you get it hot. So in there is the uh, head area. That's the um, where the gray tank is down there. I have the tank built that goes in the back wall. It's 15 gallon. It's sitting right here. So I've been placing it and cutting and fitting everything to go back and forth and down there is the actually the toilet where that that's a little l-shaped seven inch rise <clears throat> it'll go in front of this tank and come out to that line and then the toilet sits on that to bring it up to normal height this here will get a five inch bump out along here and the shower column comes up along this corner we get a Four hole welded out there on that area. I'm going to do that today. Of course, I'll have to brace it so it doesn't warp all over. So, as you can see, then this here is the step down area to the under berth, the berth that's under the, the uh, V berth or the dinette area. That's two foot wide and steps down, and there'll be 30 inches of headroom. Okay, so I got the tank in. That's the suction out. Back behind, you can see that's the blue, that's the discharge. So if you're just at ocean or out in the water where you can just run overboard. So this is the buildup to raise the toilet up because the toilet was only 13 inches high. So this brings it up to uh, plus seven inches here but the floor in here will slope. So I gotta add the floor plates and this is where the wall comes in. So the wall is gonna come in here, or wall, but it's the front of the storage because that's the sink line right there. There'll be a round sink. So tomorrow I'll start popping this out, framing it because I want this to be open all the way around this so that if I ever have to get to this tank, we can unbolt it, unbolt it and uh, take it out. That's the vent. There's a hole back there already. That's the one inch uh, coming in from the toilet when you're sitting at dock so you can use the black water tank. There'll be a Y valve right in this area. So now I got the all the wall in for the plate. There'll be an eighth inch on the face of this up to the sink height. And that's where the door will sit for these shelf areas. That's drained for the sink coming into this area. So now I'll build this out, get it flush across, and then put the sink area in right there. But uh, I insulated the tank.
So I have the floor in, it's slightly sloped to my drain. I used a household custom floor drain and you can see the one inch outlet at the bottom of it. Got all the walk area, the black line is where I got to cut out for the round sink and I'll put a face around that and uh, finish it. And then that'll be the ledger for the Corian or whatever we're going to put there and we'll match it along the back with about a four inch ledge. And we have a six foot five opening. I'm six four, no head hitting.